Hello everyone and welcome back to Foss. I always I always kind of forget what the name of this game is, even though I was literally just playing it like not even two seconds ago and I said it. So here we are exploring what was behind the magic guy. Currently, uh, yeah, whatever. They don't change the dialogue options in space. That's lame. Is this literally it? When you notice the space sphere, you began to move with quiet steps, quiet steps approach her, the ancient spirit symbols printed on. I didn't get to read all that whole thing, so fuck. Uh-huh. Walking into the darkness. Once in the unknown world, you're stepping into a void to meet, going deeper and deeper. You felt freedom. You freed the demon's soul. Now he is mortal. Is that literally it? Was that the entire thing? Was, was that really the entire thing? Was that the only thing that was behind that guy and the only point to unlocking the dungeon areas? Was that it? Because if so, then I just split up this episode and the last one for essentially no reason. Is that it? it tell me that is not it. It is so lame. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I, I, that was it. That was it, everyone. There was That was the only thing there. But here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not splitting the two episodes together. That's definitely not. I'm not merging them together. I'm just going to go back to Foss where we're in some extremely red area for no reason. It is not explained at all as, as to the reason why we have red in the sky. I still don't know where... Oh, fuck. I didn't even get to get the toolbox. Are you serious? Oh, you know what? F it. Just, no, no, new game. New game. Just F it. <laughs> F it. There's no way I'm falling down that and then going to go kill myself for no reason, for no gain. God damn. No, I almost fell down again. But I want to, I, what I want to know is I want to know how to get to, uh, how to get to the one with, with the sea captain. Yeah, the sea captain. I want to know if I can get to the sea captain because he's right here and he says that I need to, uh, find treasure. And if I lie, the whole island goes to hell or something like that. So that, that's what I want to find out. I want to find out how to get to this shit. I fucking hate these inconspicuous mines. Like there's, their placement is, there's no reason to have them there. There's just no reason to have them there. It is so annoying. Uh, it, it, man, I don't know what the hell to talk about during these episodes of Foss. I don't know. But hey, if you guys didn't see the last episode of Foss, or if you're watching them all together, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. I won't even bring up, bring up what I was talking about in the last one, because usually if people are watching these in the future, they watch them all in the series and in a playlist and all that, that fun jazz. So you guys know what I was talking about in the last one. So yeah. Uh, I won't even bring I won't even bring that up. And if you don't know what I was talking about in the last episode, then go check it out. Uh, I'll maybe put an annotation if I'm not lazy. Probably not though. <laughs> uh, I remember I remember in one Minecraft episode that I was talking about or something, I said that exact same thing. Hey, I'm gonna put an annotation here unless I don't and I get lazy and then I completely forgot about it and I just didn't do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, not not on a clean streak for me. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, but anyway, uh, is there like anything to this? I can't even interact with that, so I have no clue what, what the point of that even is. I'm gonna blow that up. Just because I want to. Screw it! Yeah. So what is down this way? What is down over here, perhaps? Oh, have I been here before? Yes, I've been here before. Because there's that one thing. I remember doing that the one time. Yeah, I did that. Alright. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, there is nothing over there. There was only that one, the Easter egg for the giant cat thing that shows up on your house. Yeah, there's literally nothing over there. Uh, what's up with this freaking sheep and lamb, though? Like, what? Why? I'm going to see if I can find out how to get the toolbox back. Because that is one thing, that is probably the most important thing that I need to do right now that will enable me to prog progress with the, with the rest of the mission and the story on Earth. Because I believe, I strongly and firmly believe that once I find, once I give this guy his, his toolbox, that I'll, what the fuck? I don't think this was here last time. Was this here last time? Yeah, it was just like a freaking notebook or something. So yeah, there's no point to that whole area over there. I'm spamming E, spamming the interact with interact key, not doing anything. I, like, what, what is the point of this? I don't know what the point of this thing is right here. Like, I can't do anything about that. Sorry that my mouse is on screen. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Like, what? Like, there, there's clearly something to this giant-ass flower here, but I can't figure it out. Like, why? Why is that here in the first place? I don't understand. 
And where am I supposed to go after this point? Is there anything to the right or was it just that one random music disc? Nothing over there, nothing up here, no hidden anything, nothing. So I have to go down, nothing to the right, then I go left and then this says, that one says to keep going right, to the left rather. And then if I fall down, the only thing that's there is the one shop and if I go in the shop, I die to the to the magic guy. Like the one sword falls, there's there's no way for me to trigger that. It doesn't stay fallen. There there's just nothing. There's nothing. So I I assume that I then have to go to the right, somewhere to the right. I can't interact with this. There's nothing that I can interact with over here. I know that Chalice is going to be death for me. I don't want to die to that just yet, but perhaps there is a way for me to get out over in this area. I'm not certain though. I, I I feel like there should be. I feel like there should be a way a way for me to get out. Is there anything over here besides that one barn house? I thought that there was supposed to be like a graveyard over here. Yeah. Okay, so good. This teleported me to the graveyard. Okay. I'm interact trying to interact with everything. Okay. I'm trying to interact. Trying to interact. Trying to interact with my hardest. Hey, that guy got out of the cage. How did this guy get out of the cage? You have may have thought the developer just forgot to delete a cell, or did you just want to get into it and get some rest? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There was a guy in there the one time. There, like, there, there was someone in there that one time. The cage was so comfortable that you fell asleep for a couple of hours, hours, for a couple of hours, hours later you woke up, kind guards told you to get out from there. Alright, so... So, yeah. That was that one. I found a new death sequence, so, uh, new death scene, rather, not sequence. So, that was good. The only bad thing is that I now have to, uh, I now have to go all the way back to that area, so I'm just gonna cut whenever I get there. Okay, I'm back, and you may have noticed that the background behind me has changed. That is because I turned my air conditioning on, and the remote for the air conditioning, much like the remote for my TV, operates on the same... Uh, infrared frequency as my light source back there is my little light plug I'm not sure how, how well you guys can actually see that but I'm not going to interact with this thing again there's nothing for me to do in or over here in that general area so I'm not gonna try and interact with it but I am back to where we were I did try to interact with everything once more and there's just nothing there is just nothing over here so I go back to this to the first area that it takes me to I'm here now and then I'm going to the right. Oh, shit. Is there anything under here that would be able to, like, take me back, perhaps? That is a good point. Um, if I fall, I feel like it's certain death. I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. I really debated it for a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm just not gonna fall, though. I can't. I can't fall. I don't want to rip. Well, maybe then I should have gone to the left. I don't know. This game is so complicated and convoluted for no reason. Like, why does the dungeon system have to be so, so complicated? I don't understand it. There's no reason that I should not be able to get out of the dungeon very easily. There should be a clear pathway. And I know that if you guys are watching all the FOSS episodes back, that I do mention this quite a lot, that there should be one consistent clear pathway, or at least if it's not consistent, well, not not consistent. If it's not if it's not obvious, then it shouldn't be like near impossible to find. And just that mic a little bit, but that's what it is for me right now. It is near impossible for me to find a solid way to get out of this dungeon. <sighs> ah, that's all I have to say. It's just ah. I'm gonna follow the way to the arrow set and going to the left, and then there's nothing. There's nothing in here. I can't. There's no way for me to avoid this this thing right here. I can't interact with it. I'm going to spam E as I try to slowly move forward. I can't jump. I can't jump. I can't. I jump there. Can't jump over here. Okay. Jump, jump. I'm trying to do... No, fuck. That, that's so fucking stupid. That is so fucking stupid. And I can't... I can't move fast enough to go under it. Because once you, once you hit that trigger that's there, the collision box or whatever, that triggers the sword from falling, it stops you completely from moving. There's no way, there's ju there's just no way to get out of the merchant shop. So that, that leads me to my only example, not, not only example, to my, uh, like, like, uh, then, the way that I then assume that you would have to go to get out would be to the left. I mean, to the right, to the right in this area that I'm trying to get to right now. That is the only way 
that I can assume would be viable to get out. It's so frustrating. It's just, it's so frustrating sometimes. This game, this game makes no sense. On Earth, it makes no sense. On space, I had, yeah, on space, it was more straightforward and I had an easier time trying to figure out where I was going. It, it was a lot easier and more straightforward at that point. But for, but on Earth, it, it, it makes no sense. There's no point to any of this on Earth. Like, it is not obvious. It's not clear. Anytime I go into the dungeon, it doesn't seem like there's an obvious or clear way to get out that's easy for me to, for me to do and understand. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, fuck. Give me that. And then I don't think that there's actually any way to go if I go down here. Like, I think I go down here and then there's no way for me to get back out of this area down here. I get this, this pouch, which might be a money pouch for the, for the pirate, or it might not. I'm not sure. But then once I get to this point, it just leads me back to this area over here. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's not obvious. There's nothing clear to this. If you do understand the way to get out, feel free to feel free to tell me in the comments and speaking of comments if you're not already subscribed to gizimoto please consider dropping a sub to support the channel so yeah there's nothing i can do about this dragon that dragon is just a death sequence there's nothing simply put there's nothing and there's nothing on the ground i already figured that out at one point i don't remember when exactly though so i guess i have to go over this way then but even still over this way which is the one way that i came from there's still nothing you know what I did see though? I did see a little, um, one of the, I did see like a little ledge that I could have possibly popped into in order for me to get out. So I'm going to try going one more time, going to the left over here. If there even is anything to the left over here, I can't remember. I think it's just death. Yeah, it's just death. Cause you fall, you fall in this one area over here and it's like the science lab, but it's not a science lab. And and there's no way out from here except what the fuck what the fuck was that what the fuck is that i can't move that is such that is such bullshit that is such bullshit damn i hate this game so much i'll, I'll give i'll give this game one more chance i'll give this game one more episode if i can't find a way to go to the the blue area on the skin map that i showed you i think 3 episodes ago now three or four episodes ago i'm not 100 percent certain but yeah if i can't figure out a way to go there then i'm just gonna say fuck it and then just let myself die oh my god speaking of dying i desperately need to find a way to die because i fucked up shit i did not want to fall down here no screw it just main menu main menu no not continue main menu global menu go back press any key to continue perfect i don't even think i need any of the gear that i'm grabbing every time and time again i don't think i need that shit because it's it's pointless it is so pointless to say the least it is pointless i think if i fall here yes oh yes please tell me this is a way out of the dungeon i oh 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 god please yes god please yes wait it's a trap you're fucking kidding me Please tell me, please, God, tell me this is not a trap. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, I would want to let you show this lever. You want to wall then pull the lever. What the fuck is English? Does, what is this English? Text editor Darnie does not understand English. Uh, that shit sucks so much. I found what I thought was the one way to go out. Oh. Oh. No, I can't. I still can't even get out. Like, I still I still won't even be able to get out because uh, if I do fall down into that area, fuck, I just fuck is all I have to say. All right, skip it. I'm not grabbing any of the gear or shit. I'm giving this I'm giving this two more tries, two more tries. I just need the toolbox right now. Fuck. The, ugh, why is this so specific? The, ugh, just this fucking game sucks ass. This game sucks ass. This is the only thing I have to say is this game fucking sucks like i said in the last episode whenever you find the new areas and and then and, and you start to genuinely understand it then it makes sense and then it's fun and it's fun to play but whenever you're just trying to die over and over again you can't can't figure it out and you're done and you're you're in a loop over and over again it gets so fucking annoying like that shit is so fucking annoying i fall down here i go in here and then what happens if i fall straight down then I'm stuck in this stupid ass area. What? What? What even? 
what even? Oh, no, this is not fun. Oh, Foss, why do you have to do this to me? Mm, God damn it, I fucking hate this game so much. What happens if I fall this way? I saw that there was a little... Uh, there is a there is a little a little platform. I just spotted it. So I'm gonna try over and over again to to get this, and then if I get it before I am recording for 24 minutes, uh, then I'll be happy. Presently, I'm recording for 20 minutes as of right now. So I'm gonna give it a try. Awesome, awesome. Oh, what the fuck? How do I get? How do I activate that? How do I activate that? There, oh shit! I didn't grab any of my things. Tell me that's not something that I have to like use use something to get to that point. Okay, so so here we go. That actually, like I I got that a lot sooner than I would have expected myself to, but hey, I guess it wasn't all that complicated. Over here, get the to get the toolbox, um, and then I go here, drop straight to the left here, and then I try to try to interact with this. Literally can't do anything with this. Why is this here then? What is the point of that? literally what is the point of that if i can't do anything to unlock that what is the point i have everything that i could possibly have so what what is the point what is the point i don't fucking know but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go back and exploring over there whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what what there's two there's two things here number of adv a number of your adventures 19 i wonder if i'm missing anything oh these are all the deaths these are all the recorded deaths that i can get uh, I'm assuming that I'm missing like two right here and then one right there or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, number of adventures, 32. Awesome. I got that little stupid ass death. Nothing here. What the fuck is this? What? I don't, what the fuck? What did, was there something like that over here? No. What the fuck? There's not even hints to any of this stuff over here. All right, fuck it. One more try. One more last, last playthrough. Not last playthrough, playthrough, but like last adventure as the game puts it and then i'm going to I'm just gonna stop the episode because this has been going on for 23 minutes which is way longer than i'd like to have my foss episodes all right bring me my toolbox yeah no fucking shit i can't get out of the i can't get out of the fucking dungeon in the first place i have no booty for you no treasure no nothing to give this guy and then i have to find a stupid way to get up up the up this tower over here just why I wasn't even on that! Ah! One more try. One more try. Last one. Promise last. Ugh, last one. This might be a longer episode. This might be a longer episode of Foss because I'm just fucking so frustrated. I'm so fucking frustrated with this game right now. I hate it. It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. See, now what I think I have to do is I think I have to kill the captain. Kill the captain and then be able to uh, kill the captain and then go talk to the treasure guys immediately after that can't interact with that guy there's nothing that i can do with the windmill yeah nothing nothing that i can do mm, nothing you gotta climb go up here what about the well nothing i can do with the well nothing i can do with this water not gonna cut down the trees anytime soon can't interact with anything up here can't interact with anything down here so what is it what is it game what the fuck am i supposed to do there's no way there's literally no way out of the dungeon. I, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to search how to get out of the dungeon. Cause that's the only way that I can think of is to is is to progress this game is to get out of the dungeon. And I, I can't find carrot seeds either. Like I don't know, man. This game fucking sucks. It is so stupid. Nothing is in the water. I already know that, that there's nothing in the water. So now I'm over here. I can't interact with any of this stupid stuff can't interact with the pirates i can't can i go under the boat or something like that the right decision was to enter a ship full of thugs yada 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 fuck that shit fuck that shit dude fuck that shit all right that's that's gonna do it for this one i'm i'm going to have to search how to how to enter the dun how to exit the dungeon in on foss so yeah that's gonna do some research for this game the game that i absolutely hate <laughs> awesome awesome i'm so looking forward to that because I think I think that I can actually beat this game after experiencing somewhat complete complete after somewhat completing the space map, I guess I feel that I can now beat this the FOSS map, the basic earth map, because I know what you're supposed to do. You are supposed to get the toolbox first. I just need to know how to actually grab the toolbox and escape the dungeon. That's where I'm at, everyone. So I'm going to leave this one here. 
If you guys are not already subscribed to Gizimoto, please consider doing that. If you want to see more of my content, click on the annotations or explore my videos page on the channel. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you another time. Pointed too early. Why did I do that?